Oh my goodness, this is like the third time I've recorded this because I just keep making silly mistakes. I had my hand covering up the microphone before, so really silly. So every Friday uh, Mass Group, I am going to be giving you a problem of the week. And today's problem is called Chip Chip Charay. So there's our title up here. In your books, it's really important, guys, that you develop good habits and you title the work that you're doing and you put a date. So for problem of the week, you should probably write the title or problem of the week. So then I know exactly what work I'm looking at when I'm looking at your books later on. So I'm just going to read through the problem for you. At Biscuit Hill Elementary School, Chip and his sister Charlene have decided that they will make cookies for all of the junior students in their school. The recipe that they found makes enough chocolate chip cookies of a 7 centimeter diameter for 16 people. Okay, I'm going to underline some key information. So they want to make cookies for all of the junior students in their school. The recipe that they found makes enough chocolate chip cookies of a 7 centimeter diameter and for 16 people. So this is the recipe on the left and it makes 16 cookies. Okay, that's one of the really key information, pieces of information. If you were to think about it and you divided the recipe in half, so you divided it by two, you would then make eight cookies. Okay, so it follows a simple ratio and a rule and I'll explain that in the next part. On the right hand side here, we have the total, or oh, well actually we don't have the total, that's something you have to work out, but we've got all five classes. You'll need to work out the total number of students. Okay, so the total number of students, and you can calculate that in your own way, and then that will help us to the next part of the question. So I'm just introducing to you all of the key info so that we can break it down, and then we can get down here and look at the question. I'm at number A, or letter A. How many batches should Chip and Charlene make so that they make the exact number of cookies needed for all of the students in the junior classes? Okay, this is the part which you will have to do some mathematical thinking. Now, it's going to be a ratio. So a ratio is a relationship between two numbers. So one batch of cookies makes 16 cookies. Two Batches of cookies makes 32 cookies. Oh, not 36. I don't know why I wrote that. I meant to write 32. Now, I've said two batches of cookies makes 32 because 16 doubled is 32. All right. Three batches of cookies. So now it's three times 16. 32 plus 16. 32 plus 6 is 38. 38 plus 10 is 48. Okay, so each group is worth 16. That is important. Now, somewhere that's really easy to start you off, I think, is how many cookies would come out of 10 batches? So I need to multiply it by 10. It's 160. Now, I'm going to let you know that's actually too many cookies. I've done this question, I know the answer. That's too many cookies, so now you have to work your way backwards. So you need to see how many nine batches makes, how many eight batches makes, and possibly even seven. That, then, after that, you will come to a conclusion, and you'll be able to see how many batches you need to make. Okay? I'm going to stop there because I don't want to give the answer away. I'm going to go to question B. They decide to make a whole number of batches so they have some extra cookies to save for later and one for each of the teachers. We have five teachers. What quantity of each ingredient in the recipe will they need? All right. You guys, quantity means obviously how much. If you're making seven batches, if, if you are making seven batches, I don't know if you're making seven batches, you will need to times each product by seven. Okay? 
and that'll give you the total amount that you need for seven batches. So you cannot do question B until you've done question A. All right. I'm going to stop there because I think I've given you quite a lot of information. I'm really excited to see what you do with all of this. So good luck, guys.